welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me today so today this video is coming as a plea to every social media content creator why am i saying all social media content creator whether you're creating content on youtube facebook instagram and tiktok or any handle you're creating content on please this video is coming as a plea to every one of us and it's regarding davido chioma and their demise son why am i making this video as a plea if you go to any social media platform right now you're going to see a lot of misinformation out there horrible misinformation out there and it boils down that we've lost the sense of humanity we've lost empathy that should come with being human likewise this video is going out to all the pastors all the prophetesses all the prophets all the apostles and all the soothsayers and even all the native doctors everybody please this family they are mourning please please and please give them time to go through the mourning process and heal is enough that they lost their son why bring so much confusion to them why write all sorts of things about them why use the boy's picture and say all sorts of things all in the name that we are all chasing this dollar on social media you will see a title Chioma has been rushed to the hospital davido is mad you will see a title a autopsy result out and you see a title if anis nani confessed please please if you people have anything called conscience let that conscience be your watchdog this time because there is no sensor on what you bring to social media does not mean you've lost your simple conscience morality that will tell you oh i think i'm stretching it too far oh no this thing is not right let's get back to empathy where we can be able to empathize with the family that are going through this loss let's place ourselves in their shoes to know that these people are hurting at this time it's not time to start writing all manner of things and spewing lies all over the place let me get back to the pastors you said you made a prophecy you said you saw the vision you told them you warned them why didn't you pray for them man of god i believe prayer is the key right why didn't you pray and counter whatever it is that you said that was revealed to you and then again pastors soothsayers dibias native doctors babalawos all of you are now talking everybody has a say in this matter everybody has a say spiritually so whatever you can think of they, there is nothing we haven't read about there is nothing we haven't heard since davido's son passed last week, uh, weekend there is nothing we haven't heard you guys have so much power to counter to prevent this from happening and when you guys had the prophecy nobody prayed to cancel it from happening now this boy is gone instead of you to pray for the parents so that they can mourn the death of their son heal in peace and then move on with you guys are bringing more confusion into their midst well, I just watched one video, another pastor this morning saying that, that the problem uh, that happening around Davido is in Davido's family. Are you trying to bring division in their family? What is going on with our people? And you proclaim to be men of God. What is going on? You're telling uh, the whole world and say you, you're not trying to chase clout. You are not trying to make the, that you're just trying to pass this message to them man of god i have a question here you have a secretary you have your office a church letter headed paper you can write to this family send them a condolence letter express your intent to them that this is what you think they should do according to the spirit of the lord and not to come on social media and then 
uh, speak it on social media so that people will start watching and watching and get more confused. Please, this is coming as a plea. And to my fellow content creators, I'm asking, I'm pleading for every one of us. All the clickbait you guys are doing, all in the name to chase dollar. When you go to bed, how do you guys sleep? Eniola was called out this morning, Eniola Badmos was called out this morning by Gis Lover for clickbaiting with Davido's uh, uh, song. And she pulled down the video on, social, on YouTube. This is a say, please stop. Take a pause, take a break, think again. Put it in this way. If I were to be chairman and everybody is talking about this thing this way on the social media, of what impact is it to me? If I were to be Davido, if Davido were to be my brother, if I were to be one of their delegates or one of the Roland's chairman's parents, how are they feeling right now should be our utmost concern. But no, I is trending. Uh, Davido said, Nani confessed of killing Chioma. Uh, they confessed that Chioma's uh, son was, um, was um, planned. They planned and they took him. Hey, Biko Keneno, have some conscience. Have some conscience. God is watching. Let this family go through the process of grief, grief, mourn, and then heal. Stop speaking lies, false information on social media. This is coming as a plea. Let this boy rest in peace. Come to think about it to our back to our pastors and our soothsayers and our um, Babalawo, the native doctors, the apostles, the prophetesses, the prophets. Come to think of it. What happens to the will of God? What happens to the will of God? Have we forgotten the fact that, that God knew about this and he allowed it to happen? If God wanted to spare Ifani, he could have still saved him. He is God, right? He is God. A day before David's son drowned, there was a young baby, a three-year-old child, God, that was found in a, in a well. This child was in that well for over three days. The parents were looking for this child for three days until people came to, you know, uh, do the number two in the forest and then heard it, some noise. That was how this child was rescued. Let me juggle our minds and memories here. This child was in that well for three days. She must have been dehydrated. We thought about all the germs, the bacteria, the diseases, the viruses that could be in that well. Have we thought about the fact that this child had no water, no food for three days? And God in his majesty spared this child's life. If God wanted to save Ifani, God could have still saved him despite this circumstance. Have we thought about this could be the will of God. I know it's hard pill to swallow when you say the will of God over a little boy like this, over an angel like this. The mind of God, we don't know. So you spiritualist, you pastor that reads the mind of God, that knows or hears from God, have you thought about the will of God in this case? You guys should let these people mourn. Let them heal. Stop passing false information on social media stop if you care so much you could have prayed to prevent that from happening since january if you cared so much for them you could have gone on your knees as a pastor to pray for them let us stop this it's not healthy a lot of people are hurting Adeleke's family, Roland's family, they are hurting. Chioma is hurting. Davido is hurting. Let's stop spewing all kinds of false information online. The one that I saw one this morning, Davido is mad. Davido ran mad. Hey, have some conscience, please. Chioma has been hospitalized. Who told you? Have some conscience. 
Nani confess. They 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 pay them to to buy a fanny. Please, people, have some conscience. Let these people heal. Let them mourn the death of their son and heal and recover and move on. Put them in your prayers if you so much love them. Pray for them. Anyways, I'll be stopping here so far. I hope this message will get to some people's ears so that they will understand that they're actually hurting the Adeleke is hurting Davido and Chioma, the Roland's family. And everybody related to this little boy that passed. They are hurting them with their words, with their with their videos, with their preaching, with everything they are spewing online. All in the name that I saw the vision. I made a prophecy. I spoke this. And all in the name of chasing dollar on social media. Let people know that this family are still mourning their son. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do me well by sharing this video. Let it get to several ears for people to know where to draw the line. Please, it's very important. We allow the family to mourn the death of their son in peace. If we really love this boy the way we are putting their picture all over the place, pray for the family. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until I see you in my next one, be well and stay well. Thank you.